After 45 years of quirky costumes, catchy tunes, and timely commentary, unfortunately, the curtain is closing on San Francisco's famous Beach Blanket Babylon. Yeah, at the end of the year, performers will take to the stage one last time at Club Fugazi in the North Beach District. In tonight's segment two, KTVU's Claudine Wong sits down with some of the cast and crew to find out how a six week show transformed into an iconic San Francisco production. This empty theater, you can feel it. The music, the laughter, the joy. But on New Year's Eve, the final curtain will close on Beach Blanket Babylon, a San Francisco icon and the country's longest running musical review. I thought I would die in this theater, you know, wonderfully, but. <laughs> But I never thought the show would close. But producer Joe Schumann Silver says it's time. She says it was just a feeling, which she knows is a hard reason to accept. Yeah, one of my cousins, who I'm, who's like my brother, I told him, I said, Clive, you're not going to believe this. I don't want to cry. <laughs> That's why you gave me this. But I said, it's different for me there, and it's not fair to everybody. I feel differently. I mean, I still love this show, but something's different. What is clear is that this show was never supposed to last this long. Six weeks. I have the poster at home that said six weeks. Her late husband, Steve Silver, started it back in 1974. One night, a bunch of us were out at dinner, and we came outside the restaurant, and there was a guitar player. People were throwing coins at him, and I said, hey, wait a minute, let's go back to my house, put some costumes on that I had from Renner Freak, and come back and do an act, see if we can make some, some money. They made 25 bucks, and Beach Blanket was born. Silver glued crazy hats together himself and sketched his ideas, making them a reality on stage. You knew sushi like I knew sushi. You know, not a stock idea, you know, but kind of sick. And so this show of Snow White searching for her prince was born. It was wild and wacky and changed as the news of the day changed. And the world took notice. Big names like Annette Funicello and Willie Brown took part in the show. And the Queen of England and later Prince Charles and Camilla came to watch. And even the cast underestimated how long this would all last. I thought to myself, this will you know, be a good job for like six weeks or so until I get a real job. But somehow, this show had us all staying longer than we planned. By the time the show closes, it'll be 34. Even the magic that's inside your heart. Even now, Renee Lubin says she feels joy every night when she takes to the stage and sings. I'm going to miss everything. I love everything about the theater, even the argument. All the stuff backstage that goes on, all of the happy, the fun, the joy, the anger. John Camiani spent four decades backstage as stage manager. He just retired a few months ago. Two or three weeks later, uh, Darren, the general manager, called me and said, I hope you're sitting down. We're closing the show. And I was, you know, if I'd been standing up, I would have fallen over. So many others have tried to copy this. And failed. They try, but you can. You have to have that Steve Silver sensibility. And so, as we say farewell, maybe it's important to remember that Steve Silver said he wanted this show to make the world a little more joyful. And so, even in the goodbye, we should find the joy. Something will happen. Something great will happen. Because everything great, thank God, happens in this show. We've been very, very lucky. Maybe it is time. That doesn't mean we have to like it. Tickets to the final shows are all sold out, but if you want more Beach Blanket Babylon, we've got you covered with our Bay Area People podcast. Hear more of Claudine's conversation with Joe Schumann Silver. Just search for Bay Area People in your podcast player.